Yo, hello, amazing people of the tube. So I want to talk to you guys about hospital etiquette, man. Um, I was in the ICU for two weeks, of which a few things occurred that I, I think shouldn't have occurred. One of them most definitely shouldn't have occurred. The other one is, uh, the other two are a little whatever. So I had tubes everywhere because I, ha I had been shot up. That's why I was in the ICU, right? So I had uh, a bunched up amount of tubes down my throat. I had a tube in each chest. I had tubes in my sides, right? Because uh, they had to reconstruct my trachea, which is pretty much like your throat, right? They had to reconstruct it. And then my, my lungs were punctured and they had collapsed. So they had to drain fluid from the between my lungs and then from inside my lungs so i had tubes everywhere in my dick everywhere except my ass you know what i'm saying so it's about a week in and a week maybe week and a half i, I don't really remember exactly how in, into it i am but they've done the surgeries they've sliced my back open like a fish I'm in excruciating pain, man, excruciating pain. And, and they gave me fentanyl because they there was a, a morphine shortage during that time. So they were giving me fentanyl with other medica pain medications as well. And it was just barely taking the edge off. And in my lifetime, I've broken a lot of fucking bones, man. And... I've been in pain many times, like a, a serious pain many times in my life. And this took the cake by far, man. And what they had to do was take out these tubes from my throat. And they told me in order to do this, they had to take me off of the pain medication for 12 hours at least. I believe it was 16 hours. Or something like that they had to take me off and I was like dude you guys just to pull the tubes out without taking me off the pain medication you guys fucking crazy like the amount of pain I was in is undescribable even even under like with like they had maxed out the dosage of how much they can legally give me you know what I'm saying I was on the push button I was hitting that shit like non-stop like a junkie you know fucking a man and i had a relative there man and because you know my, all my friends my relatives came and so they were taking turns staying there and, and the fucked up thing is man this person like made decisions for me that that really jeopardized my situation i feel like man and um what happened is now it's nighttime and they're like, okay, we're gonna wean you off. So in the morning we could pull, pull it out. I'm like, no man, like you guys are fucking crazy. And then I, I thought to myself, fuck it, just tough it up and just do it. And as the pain medication started weaning off, dude, the pain became unbearable. I'm talking about unbearable. Uh, like I've passed out from pain a few times in my life. I'm telling you, man, I, I was there. I don't know how the fuck I didn't pass out this time, right? And I have all this shit in my, in my throat and I, I don't know where all these tubes go. I know two of them go to my stomach. I don't know where the fuck the other two, three, four, five tubes are going. I, I thought they were going into my lungs or they were going into, I don't fucking know. They didn't really explain where all the tubes went. and. I had them in my mouth, so I couldn't really be asking fucking so many questions, right? So now I'm telling the nurse, the night nurse, this dude, I have a pad, so I'm writing down, and I'm like, hey man, like, I need my, give me the medication, I need it, like, fuck the tubes, bro, fuck the tubes, let the tubes stay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck, just give me the medicine, man, like, uh, this is unbearable. The relative that's there at this fucking point, well, they feel some type of way about pain medication. You know what I'm saying? They're like one of those people that like just have opinions about certain things.
things and their opinion is more important than other shit. And this person is telling the nurse, now don't give it to him so that you guys can just pull the fucking tubes out. And I'm telling the nurse, hey motherfucker, like I'm your patient, bitch. Fucking like, give me the fucking medicine, right? And it came to a point there. The relatives arguing with me is arguing with the nurse and it's convincing the nurse because she this person is able to fucking speak you know what I'm saying so uh, I'm not so I, I can't convince this motherfucker because I can't write that fast fast as people talk right I end up throwing the fucking thing at this person the, the, the pad you know, at the relative, I, I, I'm flicking the, the, the nurse off and shit, telling them, trying to wave them to bring me some other motherfucker to, to help me out. Dude, I, I said, fuck you at some point. I, I'm pulling this shit out, dude. Like, I grabbed that thing and I started fidgeting it to see what is this motherfucker attached to that they need to take me off medication, right? So I'm trying to see, like, I, I, I'm like I'm thinking to myself and I hope this thing is not connected to, to the inside of my lungs because if it is I'm about to fuck myself but fuck it at least I know they'll give me the pain medication and fix whatever I just damaged if I have to go back into surgery fuck it let it be you know like that's how much pain I was in I was willing to fucking pull out parts of my lung just to get that pain medication man so I'm fidgeting with it and right as I'm I'm about to pull the nurse fucking grabs my arm and doesn't let me and, and goes okay I'll give you your fucking medicine right and not in those words we go I'll give it to you he goes and he finally brings it and he injects me turns it on whatever the fuck he does right and I'm talking about this infuriated right now man I'm still pissed about this right now and, and later Come the next fucking morning, right? These motherfuckers say, oh, we'll do it anyway. They turn me to my side, tell me, breathe out, as they just pull the fucking tube out of my mouth, bro. It took half a fucking second, literally half a second. I thought to myself, what a fucking dumbass. What a dumbass you are. What a dumbass fucking nurse you are. What a fucking dumbass I am for not yanking that those fucking tubes out. What the fuck? You motherfuckers put me through that much pain for that bullshit? I could have done that on my own, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was willing to pull out parts of my fucking lung with some tubes and shit. And you just wanted me to breathe out while you yank? That's what... Bro, the next day... Now that shit's out of my mouth, uh, I could barely talk because, you know, that shit's been in my mouth for like a fucking week and a half, week, whatever the fuck it is. And I tell the nurse, man, you're a fucking bitch, dude. I told him, you're a fucking bitch. You shouldn't be in this fucking field, motherfucker. I told him, I'm your fucking patient. I'm the motherfucker here. I'm the one with the fucking tubes in his mouth and pain and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, let me ask you a fucking simple question, dude. Yesterday, when you took me off the pain medication... And then you saw me. Did you think I needed the pay I needed pain medication? Did you think I needed those pain medication? If you didn't, just say no. If you did, he's like, nah, man, you were fucked up. You really needed it. And I was like, so your stupid ass abused your fucking patient listening to a relative of the fucking patient that's not your patient? You stupid motherfucker. And I and I completely went off on this dude. Cussing him out, you fucking stupid bitch. How, how dare you, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm fucking wigging out on this motherfucker, right? Like, I'm pissed about it now. And it, it's been like five years since. I'm pissed about this now. Anytime I think about this, this shit infuriates me, dude. Infuriates me, right? The, the other nurses came and they're like, all right, we're, we'll, we're taking this motherfucker away from you, dude. You're never seeing this person again. I told you, fucking bitch, don't, don't ever fucking go next to a fucking person in pain and you're like go fucking deliver pizzas you bitch made motherfucker right and then i had to fucking deal with my relative late next night next night when they came back right i told them hey man like i understand you know you've been here you've been a supportive you've been great you you've done a perfect fucking job this entire time 
But when it came down to that, you couldn't have dropped the ball any fucking worse. You completely shattered the fucking ball. You you demolished it, right? Like it was you didn't just drop it. You fucked up really big, man. How dare you like uh, I'm your relative, man. Like how the fuck can you s sit there or stand there and see me in that much fucking pain and your stupid ideologies and your stupid way of fucking thinking? That's the fucking conclusion you came to? What kind of a fucking psychopathic sick motherfucker are you to see me suffer that much and, and not give a fuck and, and, you know, hold on to your fucking horses that fucking tight? You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Like, how, how dare you do that, dude? Like, how, how fucking dare you, man? I told, I told that person, look, I've broken lots of bones in my life. This person never has in, in their life, right? I said... Listen, man, I hope in your lifetime you severely break a very important bone in your body so that you understand what real pain is, so that you understand what you put me through. Because breaking different bones is different. You know what I'm saying? Like breaking your finger is not the same as breaking your ankle. Breaking a rib is not the same as breaking your tailbone or your nose or your collarbone or your arm or your... You get what I'm saying? I've broken all those things multiple times. And yeah, the funny thing is like six months later, that person actually did break their leg. They broke their fucking leg. Too bad it wasn't their fucking tibia, their big fucking bone in their thigh. It should have been that bone. So, so they really understood what the pain well pain is you know what i'm saying and oh yeah that person oh yeah you know they drank their pain medication you know they drank their pain medication once they felt the pain right and i'm telling you man like the, there's certain like i look people fuck up i understand but that's one thing man until today man i never got an apology i never that person is stuck to their fucking stupid ideologies and whatever the fuck ever is and shit and yeah, so that's one, man. And then two is just like, I had all these tubes, right? Like, dude, I had a catheter in my dick there. You know, my, my pee's going without me knowing it's going, right? I have tubes in, like connected into my chest and then in the cavity between, uh, I mean, I had a tube into my lung uh, in each lung and in the cavity between the lungs. And it's slowly like vacuuming out all the all the blood that bled into that cavity. And you know, the blood dries off, dries up, right? Like it becomes uh, crusty-ish and there's pus and there's all this nastiness, right? And I remember two people came in and they saw they were like, they, one made a face and one went, uh. You know, and I, and I thought like, and that's the time I had the tubes in my in my mouth, and I thought to myself like, dude, like how how immature are you, dude? Like, what if what if I was this happened to you, or what if th this was your relative, or your kid, or your grandma, or your grandpa? One day you're gonna get old, and you you might need someone to wipe your ass, dude. Like. I've had to visit people in the hospital, usually not serious, but sometimes I've had to deal with going like uh, I'm seeing someone that's going to die pretty soon. You know, they have cancer or they're old. And I always walked in with the mentality that, holy shit, I'm, I, I'm, I'm probably going to see some really fucked up shit right now. I'm probably going to see this person very different than I normally remember this person. And my job is strictly to make them feel better. That's my job, seeing them. I'm there to, to somehow bring some type of, a little bit of happiness to them, to take them away from the situation they're in. Not to go in there like, and observe and have opinions about and think, oh, whoa, how, how, you know, like, nah, man, like, that's very immature. Don't ever fucking do that, dude hospital etiquette don't ever fucking do that man and the second one is connected to that is don't ever go visit people in the hospital 
if you're not there with genuine reasons to be there like you're not there to strictly make that person feel better comfort that person or you're not there for some positive reason if your life is not exciting you know what i'm saying if you're there because it's a drama because it, it, it's excitement to you because it's it's a soap opera it's a television show your life is meaningless and whatever the fuck right you're there for the fucking circus you're there for the wrong don't even go don't even don't even visit right because i remember i remember all those people that came like that man and i remember thinking like hey man I, i'm not i'm not i'm I'm feeling very vulnerable right now. I'm in a really fucked up position. And as a masculine person, I, I don't like being seen at my weak points. You, you get what I'm saying? And I'm in a very vulnerable position. You're over here because it's a fucking circus. You're not here to make me feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like my friends, they came in. The first thing they did is try to make me laugh. You know, they come in. Hey, homie, look alive. <laughs> you know, even though I nearly died. Hey, look alive, motherfucker. We're here. <laughs> you, 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 get, you know, and you laugh. Like, they're trying to make you smile. And you, it's different, right? But these other people, they're here because it's like, oh, they want to see. Oh, this is interesting. So this is what a motherfucker looks like when he gets shot in the face and all this shit. Like, kick rocks with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, hospital etiquette, man. Don't be that fucking person. Don't be that nurse. Don't be that relative that dropped the fucking ball like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it at that. Solo Yolo Bolo. Peace.